Hello, in this video I am going to cover aliases. So aliases are pretty darn cool. They basically allow you to, you know, have some sort of name that refers to, let's say, some sort of command. And if there's a command that you are constantly using, you don't want to have to constantly type it out. Or even if you have a slightly shorter way of typing it out, it can still get frustrating. One thing, that, you know, that I'm constantly doing is always navigating to the desktop in my terminal. So where I'm right now, the desktop's there, so I can literally just put this. And I get that on in my desktop. But if I was to put this, uh, I'm no longer there. And if I just type in CD desktop now, it'll be like, there's no such file directory. I would love it if I just typed in the keyword desktop, so the alias desktop, is uh, as you can say, no command found. So basically we're creating our own command, essentially, for you to navigate to desktop. So remember the navigation command is cd then the actual you know path is this so if i copy that and just paste it here that's the actual command so that gets to it so again i'm gonna go back a bit and to create an alias really simply put alias then the name so desktop equals quotation marks if the space is between it, which there is so cd and because i've already paste copied it I'm going to paste it here. Now, if I click enter, if I just type in desktop, watch what happens. Spell it correctly. I'm on my desktop, which is really cool. It doesn't matter where I am, it will navigate to the desktop. That is awesome. So that is basically why an alias is. One thing I want to show you is if I close this down, I reopen it. I type in desktop, it doesn't appear. So if you have watched my video on environment variables and shell variables, You'll basically see what this is. This is a local shell variable. It will persist while you have that instance of terminal open. As soon as you close it, it's no longer there. So to save it, you need to go uh, open up the you know bash rc file. So I'm gonna say nano tilde forward slash dot bash dot bash rc. And then if we go to the end and we just type in alias and then desktop equals cd quotation marks cd paste and now if i press ctrl x y it's asking to save it leave this name the same otherwise we won't be able to use it click enter now we just need to commit this and to do that it's the same thing where you just type in source instead that commits it if i type in desktop now boom it goes to desktop and look at this if i close it go back and I type in desktop, there we go. I can navigate to the desktop anywhere, anytime I want by putting in desktop. So that is an alias. It's basically a shortcut in terminal. And I can also use, you know, aliases in a script as well. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.